we now discuss the solution of the problem from the section differential calculus. And the question is on the differentiability of a given function. This question has appeared in the joint entrance examination main held on 26th June 2022 in the morning shift. The given question is let f g are functions from r to r. f g are two real valued functions defined as f of x is equal to minus mod of x plus 3 when x negative e power x when x greater than or equal to 0 and g of x is equal to x square plus k1 x when x is negative 4 x plus k2 when x greater than or equal to 0 where k1 and k2 are real constants. If g compose f is differentiable at x is equal to 0 then g compose g compose f of minus 4 plus g compose f of plus 4 is equal to we are given four options option a 4 times e power 4 plus 1 option b 2 times 2 e to the power of 4 plus 1 option c 4 times e power 4 option d 2 times 2 e to the power of 4 minus 1 we are given two real valued functions defined on R, F and G and they are defined like this where K1 and K2 are real constants and uh, it is further given G compose F is differentiable at x is equal to 0 required to find the value of G compose F of minus 4 plus G compose F of plus 4 is equal to from the given 4 options. We now discuss the solution of the problem in detail. We have f g real valued functions defined on r defined by f of x like this g of x like this where k1 and k2 are constants. So first of all we take f of x and uh, when x less than 0 it's a modulus minus mod of x plus 3 when x less than minus 3 x plus 3 will be negative therefore mod of x plus 3 will be minus of x plus 3 there is already a minus there therefore it is plus x plus 3 and uh, for the remaining interval minus 3 less than or equal to x less than 0 in this x plus 3 greater than or equal to 0 therefore mod of x plus 3 is just x plus 3 there is already a minus there therefore minus times x plus 3 when minus 3 less than or equal to x less than 0 and e power x x greater than or equal to 0 agreed therefore g compose f of x is defined as g of f of x that means get into g of x wherever there is x write f of x so that is f of x whole square plus k1 times f of x when x less than when x is negative 4 times f of x plus k2 when x is greater than or equal to 0 agreed when x is less than 0 it is broken into two pieces up to minus 3 and minus 3 to 0 so that we will incorporate that here that is equal to now when x less than minus 3 f of x is x plus 3. So x plus 3 whole square plus k1 times x plus 3 f of x is x plus 3 when x less than minus 3. So this, this branch is over. Now for this branch minus 3 less than or equal to x less than 0. So wherever there is f x you write minus of x plus 3. So minus of x plus 3 whole square is plus x plus 3 whole square plus k1 times minus of x plus 3 that is minus k1 x plus 3 valid in minus 3 less than or equal to x less than 0. Agreed. Agreed. And now it is 4 times f of x plus k2 when x greater than or equal to 0. When x greater than or equal to 0 it is e power x. 
is e power x f of x is e power x 4 times e power x plus k2 4 times e power x plus k2 when x greater than or equal to 0 thus we have the function g compose f of x now it is given to us that g compose f is differentiable at x is equal to 0 we know that uh, differentiability always implies continuity therefore it is differentiable at x is equal to 0 implies it is continuous at x is equal to 0 the continuity of g compose f at x is equal to 0 we will use so that uh, we get uh, the values of k1 and k2 so g compose f is continuous at x is equal to 0 means the left hand no left hand left left hand limit of g compose f is equal to right hand limit at x is equal to 0 so this is limit extends to 0 minus this is left hand limit g compose f of x is equal to limit extends to 0 plus of g compose f of x this is right hand limit so as x is tending to 0 from left from left that is the second branch that is the second branch so limit extends to 0 of the second branch x plus 3 whole square minus k1 into x plus 3 is equal to limit extends to 0 plus 0 plus means from the right from the right so from the right so that will be 4 times limit extends to 0 of the third branch 4 e to the power of x plus k2 as limit extends to 0 it will be it will be 3 square minus 3k1 you agree minus 3k1 is equal to 4 plus k2 agreed so agreed so that means uh, simplifying we will get 3k1 plus k2 is equal to 5 let's call this as the relation 1 using the continuity of g compose f at x is equal to 0 we have obtained a relation between a k1 and k2 okay now we will utilize the differentiability at x is equal to 0 so g compose f is differentiable at x is equal to 0 then left hand derivative of g compose f at x is equal to 0 must be equal to the right hand derivative at x is equal to 0 that will imply limit extends to 0 g compose f of 0 minus h minus g compose f at 0 by minus h this is the left hand derivative the right hand derivative is limit h tends to 0 0 compose f of 0 plus h right hand derivative is 0 plus h minus g compose f at 0 by h be careful there should be a minus h minus h for the for the left hand derivative it is 0 minus h for the right hand derivative is 0 plus h and in the in the denominator minus h in the case of lhd and in the case of rhd it is plus h so simply get into so this is a negative negative part means negative means the second branch in that second branch go there and wherever there is x you write 0 minus h namely wherever there is x you write minus h that will be equal to limit h tends to 0 minus h plus 3 whole square minus k1 minus h plus 3 plus 3 up to this up to this and g compose f of 0 so 0 means at a 0 value is 4 plus k2 minus 4 plus k2 limit h tends to 0 of g compose f of 0 plus h that means the right hand that is in the third branch you have to write 4 4 so wherever there is x you write h 4 e power h plus k2 minus minus g compose f at 0 that is 4 e to the power of 0 that is 1 4 only 4 plus k2 minus 4 plus k2 4 plus k2 by h here in the in the numerator k1 and k2 cancels cancels and you see 4 e to the power of h minus 4 by h and you see the numerator becomes 4 as h tending to 0 it is 0 the denominator also 0 this is 0 by 0 form 
this is zero by zero form to evaluate this one use L'Hopital's rule and uh, again here also in the, on the left hand side on the left hand side so you see as h tends to zero it is a three square nine it is three square it is three square nine as h tends to zero minus three k one minus three k one minus four minus k two and in the denominator h tends to zero zero so zero by zero form we got how it is zero by zero form it is 9 minus 4 5 3 k 1 plus k 2 is 5 here is minus 3 k 1 minus k 2 minus 5 so plus 5 minus 5 is 0 is a ultimately it becomes 0 by 0 form so again again to evaluate this we utilize L'Hopital's rule so so to do that one limit h tends to 0 the derivative of the numerator that is 2 times minus h plus 3 minus h plus 3 with respect to h is minus 1 plus 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 k1 because it is minus into minus k1h k1h with respect to h is k1 so the remaining are constants they will become 0 why the derivative of the denominator is minus 1 and here it is the derivative of the numerator is 4e to the power of h by the derivative of h is 1 so as h tends to 0 it is 2 into 3 6 2 into 3 6 into minus 1 by minus 1 it is 6 and minus k1 k1 by minus 1 is minus k1 minus k1 is equal to as h tends to 0 it is 4 agreed and k1 will be equal to 6 minus 4 that is equal to 2 and we have a relation between three k between k1 and k2 3k1 plus k2 is equal to 5 substitute k1 is equal to 2 we get k2 is equal to minus 1 k2 is equal to minus 1 thus k1 value k1 and k2 values are known get into g compose f then the com then the function g compose f is completely known to us so we have g compose f k1 value 2, k2 value minus 1, substitute here, k1 is 2, k1 is 2, k2 is minus 1. So that will be, after substitution, it is k1 is 2, minus k1 is minus 2, and k2 is minus 1, minus 1. Now, now, we want, so G compose F is completely known. So what is that we want? We want G compose f at x is equal to minus 4 plus g compose f at x is equal to 4. So, to get the value at x is equal to minus 4, get into the first branch. Get into the first branch. First branch is x plus 3 whole square plus 2 times x plus 3 evaluated x is equal to minus 4. And x is equal to 4, it is the third branch. In the third branch, it is 4 e to the power of x minus 1 when x is equal to 4. So just, just simply substitute wherever there is a x minus 4 and you will get, uh, you will get this one and uh, x is minus 4 plus 3 whole square. That is minus 4 means minus 4 plus 3 means minus 1. Minus 1 whole square is plus 1. And 2 into minus 4, 3. Minus 4 plus 3. That is minus 1 into 2. Minus 2. So we will get uh, this one. 4 e after after simplification, we get 4e to the power of 4 minus 2. Take the two common, 2 into 2e to the power of 4 minus 1. So that is the required answer. So let's look at our options. Our answer, 2 times 2e to the power of 4 minus 1 appears against option D. Therefore, the answer for this question is option D. That is the detailed discussion of the solution of the problem on differentiability from the differential calculus. It is definitely not an easy problem. It is a little bit difficult and it takes time. So I am sure that you have understood the solution of this problem. I wish you all the best. Thank you.